Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss about the logical instructions of SAP2 in detail. So let's dive deep into it. A microprocessor can perform logic as well as arithmetic. So it is obvious that SAP2 also consists of logical instructions. The logical instructions of SAP2 architecture are CMA, ANA, ORA, XRA, ANI, ORI, and XRI. We will further discuss about these instructions with appropriate examples in detail. CMA is one of the logical instructions of SAP2. CMA stands for complement the accumulator. The execution of CMA inverts each bit in the accumulator producing the ones complement. For instance, the ones complement of 10111 is 01000. The CMA inverts 1 into 0 and 0 into 1. You can see there the distinguished column tells the whole story. So this much about the CMA logic instruction of SAP2. ANA is another logical instruction of SAP2. ANA refers to and the accumulated contents with the designated registers. The result is stored in the accumulator. For instance, ANAB B means and the content of accumulator with the content of B register. If A is equals to 1100 and B is equals to 1111, then ANAB results in A is equals to 1100. Here A3 is ended with B3 as shown by the red color, B2 is ended with A2 shown by the green color and so on. So this much about the ANA logic instruction of SAP2. ORA is the another logic instruction of SAP2. ORA has the mnemonic as or the accumulated contents with the designated registers. The result is stored in the accumulator. For instance, ORAB means or the content of accumulator with the content of the B register. If A is equals to 1100 and B is equals to 1111, then ORAB results in A is equals to 1111. Here A3 is done OR operation with B3 as shown by the green color and so on. Likewise A2 is done OR operation with B2 and so on. So this much about the ORA logic instruction of SAP2. Another logical instruction of SAP2 is XRA. XRA means XOR the accumulated contents with the designated registers. The result is stored in the accumulator. For instance, XORB means XOR the content of accumulator with the content of B register. For instance, if A is equals to 1100 and B is equals to 1111, then XORB results in A is equals to 0011. Here A3 is done or operation with B3 as shown by the green color. As you know, in XOR operations, when, when it is similar value, then it is 0 and when it is dissimilar value then it is 1. So this much about the 
x r a operation logic operation of sap 2 ani ori and xri are others logical instructions of sap 2 ani ori and xri are the immediate logic instructions of the sap 2 we can guess the immediate instructions by the representation i ani means an immediate it tells the computer to and the accumulated content with the byte that immediately follows up ori is the mnemonic for or immediate the accumulated contents are odd with the byte that immediately follows up xri means xor immediate the accumulated contents are xor with the byte that immediately follows up for instance if a is equals to 0101 and b is equals to 1100 then a and i b results in 0100 ori b results in 1101 and xrib results in 1001 so this much about the ani ori and xri logic instructions of the sap2 we will see the actual programming example later on this much about the video if this video helps you understand please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future please hit the subscribe button this way you will get the notification anytime new contents pops up thank you